Turning now to a Fox 16 News update. We have new information tonight following yesterday's shootout between a Little Rock Airport executive and ATF agents. Tonight, for the first time, the brother of the man who was being served that search warrant is speaking out. Our Katrin Asaf spoke on the phone with Matthew Malinowski, the brother of Clinton National Executive Director Brian Malinowski. He says right now they're in the dark and they want to know what happened yesterday morning. It just doesn't make any sense to the, the, the way they did it. One day after this quiet neighborhood in West Little Rock woke to the sound of gunshots, Brian Malinowski's brother, Matthew, is sitting at an attorney's office thinking of what to do next. I think the next thing is go to the house and take as many pictures as possible of all the damage. Malinowski was the subject of an ATF search warrant early Tuesday morning. The executive director of Clinton National Airport caught in a shootout that left one agent hospitalized and Brian on life support. He's mortally wounded. Uh, he, he was shot in the head with a high caliber weapon. As evidence is collected and neighbors adjust to the shock, Matthew is holding his own investigation. Right now, we were trying to gain truth and facts. Trying to figure out why his brother was targeted. Brian has no incentive to do anything illegal. And what led agents to break in the way they did? The ATF should have never raided him like they did. They could have thrown tear gas in there. They could have thrown a shock grenade in there. They could have just said with air horns, hey, get your tail out here. We're the ATF. While Matthew says Brian collected weapons, guns, and coins at his home on Durance Court, he says he's never been in trouble with the law before. And with no word from law enforcement on what exactly was in that search warrant, Matthew is left planning for an uncertain future with more questions than answers. I'm confused. I'm tired. I'm, I'm living on adrenaline at the moment. Katrin Asaf reporting, Matthew also telling Fox 16 they will pursue litigation as much as they can. In fact, he met with attorneys today to see what can be done. He also said Brian's wife was next to him during that shootout. An ATF agent was shot as well, and we're told they're expected to be okay.